Uh, can you hear me? I may have set my headset off. I don't. I'm not sure. for the, the help news. Unfortunately, with my headset, there's no obvious cue to... Yes. Just making sure because again my headset has no obvious tell for whether or not I what you know I'm uh, active or not. Or not active, whether the mic is muted or not, because it's just a toggle, you just press down a button. Mic. But it doesn't say muted or anything like that. And also, for oxygen, you know, just spot a tree, walk towards it. Alright. I'm still not sure about how... Okay, no. Yeah, I was thinking about the quantum moon. And I think what I need to do is... Uh, okay, first off, before I go to the ruins, let's go... up with uh, Thampa, and they may be wondering why am I calling them Thampa? Well, they're, they're kind of like, you know, a grandparent, but, you know, everyone, all the Harthians use uh, gender neutral, or not gender, you know, they all use they, them pronouns, you know, but... So, I'm like, well, what's a... I'm going to die. Please. Please, let me get back up into my ship. Wow. <laughs> I forgot to suit up. Uh. Anyway, Thampa. All Harthians use they, them. And, um, you know... Okay, and now it shoots off to the right. And yeah, it's some sort of device. Yeah, not device, but yeah. Yep. 
But yeah, um, they're like grandparent. Uh, get that. Thank you. They're like grandparent. <laughs> and they're just kind of left on the moon. So I just kind of prefer. Oh, okay. So I just kind of referred to them as Zampa. Good. <laughs> Alright, let's try to land next to them again. And not die. I have my spacesuit on. Let me look at the ship log. Give you entries. Let's go meet up with that bar. Who, as we've seen, has started planting some uh, timber hearth and trees. Which is uh, a real shame that I literally died from running out of oxygen, you know, a few feet away from some trees. Yeah, let's talk to... <laughs> Esker. The Thampa we've left on the moon. Oh, hey, it's you. <laughs> ah, ground control didn't tell me <laughs> you were launching. Long time no see. Um, what was that? No, see, boy. Um, <laughs> Lunar Pines. Grand. Paws Mill, right? Oh, yeah, it's a them. Thampa. Just, you know, kind of like, you know, them, they, but like, the they am, you know, like Gram. Like Gram Gram. Or Gran. Like, yeah, just mixing it all together. Oh, yeah, no animations because time is stopped. The stars above, you're serious, aren't you? That's just depressing. <sighs> Welcome to the Lunar Outpost, which apparently the space program doesn't bother to teach anyone anymore. Er, and yeah. When you first started out, when we first started out wilds, travelers used to bring their ships here all the time for repairs. Our spacefaring technology has uh, improved loads since then, but the older ships tend to uh, fall apart a lot, like more than they do now. Using the outpost cut down on the number of launches and landings land and taking place in the village, and also the number of fires. Nowadays, though, it's mostly just me up here, raising saplings from Tibber Hearth and keeping an eye on things. Don't go. Uh, I mean, anything else you want to ask? Uh, not. But yeah, guess for now. Just wanted to show. You know the the grandpa that we've abandoned in space. Wrong. And that big geyser. I should land my ship in there sometime. Anyway. Bonk. Let's... Okay. If my memory is actually working... Yes. Because the first time I tried coming to the moon, I literally, like, I couldn't find the ruins. And it was very embarrassing. I'm like, oh, let, let's explore the ruins. And then I just couldn't find it. 
are these? It's not, uh, the... Unfortunately, I can't trans... You know, none of this is text so far. Because I can translate text with my, uh, handed hand translator. deeper. Oh, wow. And trees. Okay. They're not our trees, but they're a tree. Okay. Wow. Wow. I've seen this ruin in other travelers' pictures, but seeing it for myself? It's really old, isn't it? But, wow, this is the coolest day of my life. Okay, um, time for some official notes. So this is some kind of Nomai locator. It can point out different planets, which is incredibly cool, by the way, but from what little I can understand of the writing here, I, I think it was built to try to find something specific. I'm not sure. Um, I also was able to translate something about the South Pole of Brittle Hollow, so I'll fly there to see if I can learn more. Yep, I'm just gonna get back in the old ship and take off. Totally safe. Mostly safe. The stars above. Huh. And it's... I, know, I can locate whatever that is. This is like the inverse. Wait, no, that's kind of like the... Oh, it's a scroll? <gasps> that. Where should, where should this new, more sophisticated locator be built? It may need to be larger than this eye signal locator. Than this eye signal locator is. Huh? Plume. The southern glacier on Brittle Hollow has ample available space. I could construct a new building to house this proposed locator. Okay. Southern glacier on Brittle Hollow. Okay, so yeah. There's definitely something there. Phylix. Yes, let's build there. I imagine our young friend Con Con uh, Conoy would annoy that immensely. He's always held a great interest in the eye. Especially for a child born so long after the crash. The eye. And it slenders off here. Plume. I will begin constructing on Brittle Hollow South Pole immediately then. Colas. And Nona. And Nona and those of us originally stranded on the Ember Twin built a quantum moon locator there. But the heat of the sun has made its construction challenging. I wouldn't recommending I wouldn't recommend building on that planet. Originally stranded on the Emperor Twin built a quantum moon lake here and there. Building on that planet. Where should we build this and this eye signal locator? Okay, 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 okay. Nice. I was, uh, yeah, the musical cues are so good in this game. Searching, yeah, me, the one you picked up, can't be searched, just constantly searching, yeah. I was upstairs testing the eye signal locator, and it can hear and follow the signals from the sun. Okay, signal from the sun, 
Giant's Deep, and Riddle Hollow. However, something strange is happening when I ask the eye signal locator to follow the, the eye signal. The device this uh, indicator rotates wildly and never points in just one direction. I see. I most likely calibrated the locator incorrectly. Privet, my apprentice, and I will make adjustments and try again. An update. Disappointingly, everything is correctly calibrated after all. Uh, Kasava, it saddens me to posit this, my uh, posit this, my friends. But I believe we need to build a more sophisticated device if we want to find the exact location of the Eye of the Universe. Then <laughs> Thatch, then we will build it. Don't lose hope, K Kasava. A search for the Eye is what brought us, uh, brought our clan to this place. We won't give up so easily. This is a curious result. It's possible the eye has stopped calling out its signal. Okay, so we're trying to find the eye of the... The eye of the universe. Yeah, that's the eye. Huh. And, okay, yeah, I looked at that one. The the sun, giant's deep brittle hollow. Feldspur's harmonica. That's. In the dark bramble. How to use the moon's eye locator? At least try to figure out what it does. Do you want to try to figure out how to use this moon's eye locator? Yeah, I kind of want to figure out what it does because I'm trying to point it. that this, the locator, can hear the signals. So it's hearing the, you know, the, I, I forgot the term, but, you know, like the radiation that planets give off can make a, you know, make a sound that can be, uh, or the radiation of it can be translated into a sound. Hey, there's a landing pad there. Anyway... I think we're going to... Brittle... Brittle... Uh, Brittle Hollow is uh, what I want to do. Because... Um... The Hollow's Lantern. Okay, I can't... What? The oboe of Giant's Deep, um, the astronaut, or the traveler on Giant's Deep. <sighs> Sounds windy. Oh, yeah. Alright, you know what? Might as well do that. I uh, hear its noises because I both have all the time in the world and not enough.
Oh yeah, Brittle, Brittle Hollows is the uh, banjo player. something silly. Yes, that was very silly. Never mind. Let's go to ship log. The ice right back. Alright. The sun and the eye. It's not silly if it's science, you're right. Got, uh, created to pinpoint the source of dis signals. Disappointing the failure to uh, detect a signal from something called the eye of the universe. One hell of a name. I have Ryback. Ryback headed to Brittle Hollow to investigate something that, uh, that Nomai were doing at the South Pole. Yeah, hmm. You know what? Yeah, I. Again. I have all the time in the world. Let's listen to the sounds. medium shard. And you can hear the crackling of the sun. You can't hear the sounds when you have headphones on for the signal scope. Autopilot. And the eye gets error of some kind. Oh, I didn't hear. And we didn't try listening. Nope, yeah, my plan uh, had a brittle hollow. That's the core. several cool structures. I'm gonna... I see. Yeah, we're gonna land here. Actually, can I land here? It doesn't look flat. Yeah, it's pretty wild. Get that sound. Let's 
escape pod. Thatch. Is everyone unharmed? Plume. No one was badly injured from the escape pod's impact. We're incredibly fortunate. Thatch, this is good news, at least. Have you heard from Escape Pod 2 or Escape Pod 3? Phylex, no, I... I'm unable to make contact. My equipment can hear the other two's escape pods' distress signals. However, if, you're on, if, if it's any comfort, both pods must be structurally intact. Phylex, I'll continue calling for them. My gratitude. If we can. Thatch, the moon is approaching again. Everyone, brace yourselves, swiftly. The volcanic moon has uh, returned. Be cautious of flying, falling ash and debris. I, I believe the moon has passed. The planet doesn't appear eager to have guests. We are certainly unwelcome on its surface. Uh, we need to find better. We need to find shelter and quickly. The volcanic moon won't be gone for long. Uh, I heard a crash. I observed several promising sites below the surface, but we'll need to construct a way for everyone to climb safely down this cliff. Perhaps we, uh, perhaps we can build platforms. Does not ha flatness does not a, a landing make in this game. That's true. Uh, that's it. Stress beacon. What? We're in. All right, but seriously, um. Well, I can. Shame the escape pod doesn't hit the timber. Yeah. Was that what that was? Launching escape pod three. Launching escape pod two. Now launching escape pod one. What? Well then. Lovely. Um, is that water? It's hard to tell. That a what? Did I just get? No way. Did I just get? What? <laughs> um. Huh? Well, I got slingshot. Hello. Hey. Alright. Velocity match. My god. That was a wormhole. Ah. Stop that. I'd rather you would. Is that what I. That way. Towards, 
I don't know what that... I don't see on the map where I'm pointing towards... Oh, that's not... not the most uh, useful thing. Oof. Okay, I'm pretty close to that black hole. got knocked back. Wait, am I in the, the thing that got exploded earlier? You're here. Yeah. I mean, yeah, for every equal, you know, for every force, the equal opposite force, etc, etc. Airlock. Let me pause for a second. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, I thought I was gonna uh, beef it again. Let me get some water. Alright. Oh yeah, this is exciting, but also I'm very terrified. It's great. Ember Twins Projection Stone. What? Drop Ember Twins Projection Wait, okay. Okay. Before any of that... Poke. Welcome to the White Hole Station. If you fell through the oh, the, if you fell through the black hole by accident, don't worry, you aren't the first. This warp tower can return you to Brittle Hollow. Every warp tower is tuned to a specific astral body. A tower, a tower's warp can only be used during the brief window when the tower is aligned with its corresponding astral body. In this case, Brittle Hollow. It must be standing on the wa uh, warp platform on the floor during this alignment to be warped. Uh, if you look up while the station's rotating, you can see the alignment happens when the astral body is directly overhead. Okay. Okay. Okay, I can rotate it. This is. It's a, the warps. Okay. 
return warp status, charge. Step onto the warp receiver platform to activate return warp. Alright. What's that disc thing? Speaking of countdowns, yeah, no. Yeah. I mean, I made some good progress, though. Feldspar. Oh, spirit. What? He, uh, Feldspar was the. You know. The astronaut who never returned from his uh, last voyage. It's annoying to scalp across the planet to the ship if I, if I can't use my jetpack, so I'm leaving this here. I checked with the little scout. I do use it too. Hornfell, you burnt marshmallow, and the scout's integ integrity reading said that it's a piece of brittle all is stable at any rate, but who knows if he'll still around uh, reading this. Uh, <laughs> yep. Well, Death Sun, Death Sun explosion. Yep. So yeah, that disc thing was on uh, Timber Hearth, and yeah, that was the warp. I guess it wasn't charged. The the one on Timber Hearth. So many busy, busy dreams. Okay, now... Man, it partially falls through. Is that a gas giant? Oh boy. Ah. Oof, uh, where do I want to go first? I'm trying to think. Hmm. So many busy, busy dreams. I mean, for all I know, they are dreams, but for all I know, it's not. Um. Well, I can jump. Hmm. Oh. Also, yeah, if you get hurt. Uh, you kind of shows your eyes. Mm. <sighs> Actually, no. It uh, give me a bit. I think I'm gonna take a small break. Just real quick, just uh, refill some water and all that, but I'll be back in like a minute or so.
I'm back, y'all. Should really work on something to make sure that y'all can there I know when y'all can hear me. currently we're coming in 10 by 10 around with that is nice. Also. Oh, was that enough to kill me? Wow. <laughs> I mean... Okay, it's a pretty big ledge, but, like, I, I didn't think it'd be enough to kill me. Because literally just a few... Just, like, a meter... To the, uh... To the right, and I would have lived. But yeah. There's achievement for it. Let's goodbye. Oh. Think cannon will kill you. Yeah, that's that's how this game works. Oh boy, I, there's so much to do. I almost feel like I should grab a snack. Or but I think for now, I want to check the uh, rumor tree. I want to see it up first. And then. Escape pod one. South pole. Yeah, I need to 
head to the south wall. I think that seems like a good place. I mean, I could go to the, uh, the hell that is the Dark Bramble and not die and re entry. Yep. Every no uh, no my orb tower is tuned to a specific astral body. To use a tower, you must be standing on the warp platform during the tower's alignment with its corresponding astral body. The alignment happens when the astral body is directly ahead. There's more to explore here. Yeah, there is. One of three now my uh, no my escape pods crash in our solar system. All three escape pods were launched for something called the Vessel, which was badly damaged. Though my survivors, who, are crashed on, who crashed on Brittle Hollow, climbed down the cliff to a shelter site below the surface. Uh, I mean, that would also be a place to look. I mean, well, I can also try to find the person stationed there. Or what was stationed there. That said, um... You know, several things lead to Brittle, <laughs> Brittle Hollow. Uh, that said, I feel like I should... You know what? We're gonna take a detour. Okay. Later, um... Uh... Cascoil? Cascoil? Coil? Cascoil? No, oh, sorry if you're mispronouncing it, but yeah. You have a good evening or day, depending on your time zones. <sighs> what am I looking at? I don't know. Let's autopilot towards it. It's on the uh, volcano moon. What are you? Is it another quantum? swinging to the sun actually yeah um i wasn't given the option to autopilot towards the uh, interloper Oh wow. Head 
quick and fast. Undershard target. Yeah, it's not. Uh, come on. Oh, God, save me. Ah. <laughs> oh, hello. Suit it up. Die from leaving here. Escape pod two. Status reports for all systems, but internal initial things first. Is everyone unharmed? Rose? Ross? Who's? Who's? Our escape pod's passengers are afraid, but physically well. And now, Anona, everyone survived the crash. Uh, this, this is a relief at least. You have my gratitude, Burr. Were you able to find the other escape pod's distress signals? Burr. I can hear both signals somewhere in the star system, but I don't believe either escape pods crashed on the same planet as ours. Collision imminent. Uh, hmm. My Laura, the heat from the star system sun is more bearable below the surface. When our escape pod punctured this planet's surface, it broke into what our scan shows a cave system with much colder air. I would recommend we seek a site down there to build a long term shelter. And Anona, but these passages are a maze. Even even with this danger, they're still our best chance for survival. We'll form teams and send into the caves to look for a shelter uh, shelter site. We can mark our findings on the walls to avoid becoming invariably lost. Be cautious, everyone. Rouse, and be aware of the sand as you search. It appears to be rising gradually. Uh, oh, what? <laughs> I think the rings of text... That lawyer becoming had multiple things to read. Did it? I... Oh, it did. I think. On the different sides? I'm not sure. Scanning. Eternal environment. Scan complete. External temperature is prohibitively high. Verdict? Inhospital <laughs> Inhospitable. Do not seek shelter on planet surface. Again, flight log, escape pod 2, vessel has been mortally, mortally injured. Emergency sequence activated, awaiting departure from vessel 1. Okay, so if it's blue ring... I think. Then that means I didn't scan it yet. Hmm. Ah, there were multiple things in the warp locator thingy. 
got warped. Yeah, that's why it says, like, oh, hey, I'm still not done there. Emergency escape hatch. Keep moving, friends. There's some, nothing of interest at the end of this passage but rocks. And while these rocks are interesting, they can wait until a less urgent time. Do not follow this tunnel to its end. Colas and I ex will examine the horror that lies at its terminus later, provided we live through this. The horror? It. Cactus. Okay. No, it's not that. You don't want to go scuff out that horror? No, I'm kind of a... <laughs> in this game, at least, I'm kind of a coward. Because... I... Because I see teeth, and I freak out. Because I've seen a teeth-looking thing before, and I've hated it. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh! It's not alive? Oh, there's some writing. And there's a skull and some blocks. Uh, escape pod one. Somewhere out there. Yeah, no, that's isn't that isn't that grand. Isn't that fantastic? Just rocks. Okay, there's just rocks. Yeah, no, that'd be terrible just seeing that. Like, you, you barely, like, no one's injured. Uh, bonk. But seeing that thing, like, no thank you. Um, how do I get out of here? My ship. My kingdom. For my ship. Yeah, that's what I think. Cause at, thir at first I thought the little things were escape pods, but nah, no. Also, yeah, no. Hi, son. Is there a structure on there? I swear I saw a structure on the surface of the sun. some trick shot of just blasting yourself at a some stuff at the walls why one of those in there from the dark but I'm confused as to why one of those is here on this twin pl uh, planet rock yeah yeah that's for those of you who are, um, because of Twitch and being weird with, uh, the, uh, viewer count at times, 
I don't know how many peeps are still here, but uh, it was the first time watching. Yeah, no, there's one of those in the Dark Bramble, except alive. I, it, I, mm, I didn't know it was there, but it met me. And then I don't want to go there. But yeah. Yeah, um. More, more, uh, ah. <laughs> Milore. We have found an enormous camera at the end of this passage that appears promising. I believe we could construct long term shelter here. There. And no, no. The cavern uh, Milore found is a wise choice for shelter. Could one of you mark directions for the others to follow? This is a start. Um, Oh, Coleus, this is the start of the path to the shelter site. I have left directions to guide you there. Malori, of note, we must hurry, as the pathway there is filling with sand. Do not allow yourself to be buried by sand, and make sure no one is lost. Delightful. Oh, it is filling with sand. I'm guessing it empties. I. Hmm. Gotta get away. Okay. I think it's on the cycle. I wonder what sort of horrible ways to go in this game are. <laughs> and Nona, of note, this passage leads to breathable air. Refill your supply tank there. We cannot tell how far or deep these tunnels may wind, but do not linger as the air is exposed to the heat of this alien sun. Alright. Yeah, it's filling with sand. That did that just load in weird or something? I think so. Bonk. Okay, the sun hasn't. Uh, decided to annihilate me yet. That's good. if I should try to get it on the return path, but, uh, that sounds like an incredibly terrible idea. Like, yeah, no, that sounds like an incredibly bad idea. Let me just ram myself into... the, uh, an asteroid or whatever. Not actually. Uh, let's check this out. Shelter site. Anglerfish fossil. Yeah. yeah. I need to head back there. 
that involves getting stuck into the the warm hole or the white hole, I should say. One of three no no my escape pods that crashed in our solar system launched by some called the vessel. I found a cave with an anglerfish fossil inside, but the opening is only big enough for my scout. Wait. No. It had something in its mouth. I need to check that out again. <sighs> Alright, the Nomai no my survivors who crashed on Ember, t Ember Twin decided to seek shelter in the caves beneath their uh, crash escape pod. Now mine discovered a promising long-term shelter site at the end of one of the passages beneath the escape pod. Yeah, that one, I, I would have to just rush to it to find evidence about it. This game is dense, and it's amazing. Goodness. I'm just kind of also taking this opportunity to take a break. <laughs> ah, hmm. And also, okay, I also thought about something. While I was trying to land here, I think I saw the quantum moon again. So that kind of raises my suspicion. Because I, when I was trying to get to the Dark Bramble the one time that I uh, exploded my, most of my ship, uh, I also saw the quantum moon. And I think that... I would have to, to land on it, I would have to find a way to observe all the other planets, except for one? Or something? So, or, no, probably to observe all the planets except for the one I was trying to land on, so that it won't, like, try to jump around. I don't know if that's possible. But, I mean... <laughs> It's either that, or I have to warp there somehow. Which again, isn't improbable. <sighs> Map mode. Quantum moon. Ember twin. Hollow's lantern. Giant's deep. The dark gravel. White hole. If I try to go up to get to the, uh, the daily warp station. Anyway, hmm. I should, I guess, to fill this out a bit more, I should go to the Ash Twin. Check out what's over there. Just, uh, haven't had the current call. So I should. What happened? Hello? Uh, yeah, no, uh, I still have business here. Never mind. I, that probably could have gone a lot better in every single imaginable way, but I didn't die. Uh, more information needs to be needed. The warp station is part of the white hole. Wonder. <laughs> All right. But no. Let me. Ah, play recording. Church's research notes. Property of church. 
clearly the Nomai were making astronomical, uh, astronomical observations here. They chose an excellent spot. What is this big rotating device for? What was it? Uh, what was it the Nomai were observing? I'd posit there's something special about the orange symbol on the device. Hal and the new astronauts, astronauts translator tool would be nice to have handy about now. Ho ho ho! I am that new astronaut. Anything cool here? Nope. Never know. Um. Uh. Milore. This planet sometimes, and only sometimes, has a moon. This is also of note. It disappears if no one is watching it. Isn't that a fascinating orbital characteristic? Malori, this is my first time encountering a natural satellite with the ability to vanish when not being watched. We should study it, or even better, we should travel there. Er, I agree. Our first step would be determining a method to track this phantom moon so that we can always know where it is. At the current call. Anona, given its re reluctance to move while consciously observed, it might be a form of macroscopic quantum mechanics. I, f Burr, I found your note. Malore, kindly count me among, among this moon's admirers. What is happening when it disappears? I doubt it ceased to exist. Does it move to another location? No, no. I believe so. Not only does this moon appear around Brittle Hollow, I can also confirm it sometimes orbits Temper, Temper Hearth as well. Okay, I don't drop it. Is it always... Oh... This is a locator. Is that the... I'm trying to think what that is. The eye? No. I don't know, I'm getting... Um, lost. The Morse code launch code. It's MDN. I believe this is a reference to Mobius Digital. The creators and uh, Anap Anapara, the publisher. That's uh, that's cute. What is this for? I wonder. An <clears throat> Anona, the quantum moon locator is functioning. Ah, we have markers for each of the places the moon goes. Okay. Malore, Anona, Burr? I have just observed the quantum moon in orbit around the dark bramble. Anona, you have keen eyes, my friend. So this moon travels to a total of five locations, not four. I added a marker for dark bramble. Okay. Okay, that's what that marker has to be then. I thought the burr. I thought the locator now accounted for all of the Phantom Moon's locations, but sometimes the locator can't tell where the moon is. Perhaps there's a problem with the, with the device. It's also possible there exists a sixth place in the solar system to which the Phantom Moon travels. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, 
boy. Let's see here, that's Brittle Hollow. I'm guessing that's the Dark Bramble. Yeah, that has to be the Dark Bramble. Uh, Giant's Deep. Ah, Tipper, sorry. And then it's somewhere else. Always distressing being this close to the sun. But I'm guessing this has to be. Yeah, there it is, I think. Okay. But that isn't. Turns uh, evil. Big angry boy. And you're standing on the Emperor's toilet? Yeah, okay, this is. that makes sense. But yeah, sometimes it does something weird. <gasps> okay. That's the current call. Don't have much time. Anything special here. Oh, it refills my oxygen. That's good enough. much time and I haven't really studied that map too much. Oh boy, I'm real close to the sun. I hate that. <laughs> hate that. You hate to see it, folks. Um, throw your sun. <laughs> what do you think the orange symbol is? I think the orange symbol is the uh... Quantum Moon, I think. That's why it goes haywire, because it's not being observed. Okay. Uh, this is a foolish mistake. Uh. But yeah, just my uh, idea is that the orange symbol. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Right, the orange symbol is the quantum, definitely. And now that I. Something I just remembered is that a lot of these planets. Or several of them are supposed to have the other travelers on them. So ergo, there is a, there might be a time where enough of them are witnessing the, uh, uh, you know, looking up the sky and being able to, you know, basically keep a quantum moon in check, maybe. <laughs> Death. Baja Blast. I mean, I think that was the ultimate bl Baja Blast. Oof, man, that was... Okay, I've done quite a bit of investigating. And, um... Quantum Moon Locator. Yeah, I still only go back there, because I'm missing some stuff. The no my device created a track that finds the could be a form total not unknown sixth location. I should say I don't think beyond a few questions. I mean like my idea is maybe at some point 
you know, they're they're watching the skies or, you know, some way observing the skies around them. Or, like, I don't know. That's just spitballing. That said, it's... Uh, I've been streaming for a while now. <laughs> this game's great. And... I, I kind of feel like I should... I kind of want to keep going, but at the same time, I feel kind of uh, tired and also not ready to go to the dark realm. Because <laughs> I feel like either going there or going back to the, the white hole. To that warp station. Kind of deal. And I'm not sure... I mean, I'm sure I have options to go and to keep examining, but I think I'd want to go check that out. Or, they're not there. Yeah. Yeah, uh, maybe for next stream. But yeah, thanks for sticking around, y'all. This was a blast. Whew. And yeah, I'll get to exporting this to YouTube soon and all that. But, um... Yeah, but we gotta call it for now. Not when do we go back to the thing? <laughs> yeah, no. No, I I don't I was thinking like um last Thursday or yeah, last time I played I'm like, no, yeah, let's I'm gonna go back to the dark bramble and get through there, be a champ, but no. I was just not feeling it. I went for a walk earlier and it was hot and I guess that took a lot out of me than I thought it did. And also, yeah, you do a better job of making sure to take breaks to drink water and stuff like that. But yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, you know, then you're welcome. <laughs> but yeah, later, y'all. Oh. Yep. Catch you for gaming later, team news. <sighs> Man, this game's good. It's dense. Great. <laughs>